Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. This session we have an interesting question from the concept of progressions and let us see what question we have with us. Find the sum up to infinity and we have a series here. So let us see the series here 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 plus and so on. So for this series we are supposed to find the sum up to infinity that is going to be the question. So the question is going to be very easy but slightly tricky that's it okay. So yes let us see some approach how we can solve this question. Also we have the options. So yes let us start from this given series here. So let me name it as s. So s is equal to we will take these terms here. So we have 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 and so on. So here we have the first five terms of this series, right? Okay. Yes. And whenever we deal with such a series question, we should be clear enough to find the pattern, what pattern the series is following so that it will be very easy for us to solve the question. Fine. Okay. All right. Yes. So now if you see here, we have all fractions and that to all the numerator part is going to be one only fine. Yes. So that means any term of this series is going to be of the form one by some number. That's it. Okay. Now all we need to do here is we need to observe the pattern that is followed in the denominator. Yes. So let us have a slight observation. What is done here? Fine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now if you see here, the first term is going to be one by one. The denominator is going to be one. Here the second term, the denominator is 3, third term denominator is 6, fourth term 10, fifth term is 15 and so on. This is going like this. Yes, all right. And you can easily observe it just by looking the pattern here. See here the first term here we have 1. This 1 plus 2 is this 3. 3 plus 3 is this 6. 6 plus 4 is this 10. 10 plus 5 is this 15. So in that manner we have the denominator values. Is it or not? And if you slightly think you will be easily able to come to a conclusion that these values are none other than so let me start from the first term this is going to be 1 by simply 1 now the second term is going to be 1 by this 3 can be written as this 1 plus 2 I hope you can understand this plus 1 by this third term denominator 6 can be written as already we have 1 plus 2 additionally we can do a plus 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 that will give you the 6 and so on is it or not this looks much interesting so 1 by this 10 can again be written as if you continue the pattern this can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and obviously this 15 what we see here in the fifth term denominator that 15 can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 that's it okay and so on so that means this is going to be the pattern that is followed in the denominator position yes all right yeah fine now just we'll just put plus 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 and so on I think this first four terms are enough for us to generalize. Yeah, okay. Now, again, when you come to the denominator, they are going to be the sum of natural numbers. Is it or not? The sum of first some natural numbers. That's it, okay. And precisely, if you see, the first term denominator is going to be none other than the sum of the first one natural number. Here, the sum of first two natural numbers, sum of first three natural numbers, sum of first four natural numbers, and so on. So that means definitely when you continue this pattern, the nth term will be of the form 1 by the sum of first n natural numbers. That is how we can just conclude it, right? Yes. So we also know the identity, right? Yes, we know the identity. I think I can write it here. So we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3, I mean the sum of first n natural numbers. I mean the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 taken up to n can be written as what this is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 we very well know this now let us apply this identity over here fine okay so that we get some simplified form that's it okay so this will be equal to 1 by see here here our n is going to be 1 because this is the first term right and in that sense we can rewrite this one as the sum of first one natural number that is here I can take n as 1 that's it okay so when you try to take n as 1 here what happens is this will become 1 into 1 plus 1 which is 2 divided by 2 okay all right yes plus 
1 by now this is 1 plus 2 I mean the sum of first two natural numbers where here the n value will be 2 is it or not so in that case this 1 plus 2 can be rewritten as with this identity it can be rewritten as 2 into 2 plus 1 the next number 3 divided by 2 plus here 1 by I think we can continue the pattern hereafter the same way 1 plus 2 plus 3 the sum of first three natural numbers which is nothing but 3 into the next number 4 by 2 plus 1 by this will be nothing but 4 into 5 divided by 2 plus and so on okay all right yes now next thing what I can do here is now if you see we have all fractions and the two the denominators themselves ended as fractions is it or not so now in this sense what we can do is we will again simplify these fractions just take the denominator of your denominator to the numerator yes we can do that right so whenever we have a denominator of denominator that value we can take it to the numerator that we can do right so in that sense what happens is these two is what we have in the denominators of denominator position will go to the numerators the respective numerators is it or not so that means what happens is we will have 2 by this will become 1 into 2 plus this expression this can be written as 2 by 2 into 3 plus 2 by 3 into 4 plus 2 by 4 into 5 and so on so this is what we will be getting and now next thing what we can do here is I will now remove the 2 or I will just factor out the 2 as a common factor outside so that here inside we will be having 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 5 and so on yes this is what we'll be getting and what next can be done here is see here this kind of expression we have seen problems also based on this kind of expressions this kind of series so if you want to see some similar problems i'll attach some i card here so that will be easy for you to see some similar problems we have already worked out in the same way okay yes fine yeah anyways so continuing this here we have the expressions 1 by 1 into 2, 1 by 2 into 3, 1 by 3 into 4 and so on. Now these fractions can be rewritten in a very easy way, right? Okay. So how can they be rewritten is very simple. This 1 by 1 into 2 is nothing but 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2. Fine. Okay. Why is this happening here? For this is what I just uh, insisted you to watch the previous videos. Okay. Like I will just attach the link there. You can uh, see those videos so that it will be very easy for you to understand. But anyways, I'll just give a quick recap of how this is coming. Now see here this 1 by 1 into 2. This is what we are rewriting like this. You can just see it here in a very easy sense. So this is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2. So you have to take the LCM of your denominators. So this becomes 1 into 2. And what happens to the numerators is your numerator will become 2 minus 1 and which is what is 1 very simple okay and next plus same way when you try to rewrite this 1 by 2 into 3 this will come as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 you can check the same way fine okay so when you simplify when you try to simplify 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 first of all you need to multiply the denominators that will become 2 into 3 and your numerator portions will become 3 minus 2 which will again be 1 so you will be ending up when you solve when you just try to simplify this expression will end up with the previous step what you see there right yes plus again this can be written as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus this can be written as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 and so on up to infinity yes and now we have ended up with a very clear telescopic series form is it or not so since the sum is taken up to infinity what we can do here is there is no particular last term so it is very clearly visible here that this minus 1 by 2 can be cut with this plus 1 by 2 and so on minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 5 with the next plus 1 by 5 so it continues continues and so on and you will be simply left with only this first value what you see here in this brackets okay so you will have 2 into this is going to be simply 1 by 1 which is going to be 1 so your final answer will be nothing but 2 into 1 which is going to be 2 so your simplified answer or the sum of these given terms taken up to infinity the simplified answer is going to be 2 is going to be the answer and you have our answer available at option a option a 2 is going to be the answer for this question okay 
yes i hope you felt this question to be much interesting and also you felt it to be easy the way how we solve the approach and everything and if at all you feel that this session was useful please give a like and if you feel that this would be useful for any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also and again we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much